Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of We Cringe to French. I'm your host, Alexis Leveillet, and this is my co-host, Elliot Sierra. All right, I'm a physio, he's a Cairo, and uh, today we're responding to basically cringe, somewhat related fitness and wellness content. Uh, we're going to start off with one of Elliot's videos. <laughs> my name is Marlo Antonucci, and I am a WEC Method rotational movement specialist based out of Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. Primal PT, we work on reclaiming our primal abilities through our three pillars of mind, movement, and nutrition. It has been an amazing experience seeing all the results from rotational movement training, not only for myself and my wife, but for our clients yeah. as well. Uh, we coach so online, in-person, one-on-one sessions, as well as small group training. If you live in the Lethbridge community and want to learn what all the hype is about and why so many professional athletes and elite level coaches are training with WEC Method, now is your chance. We are looking for three people who are ready to try something new and want to feel better, move better, and perform better. It's just an ad. That's it? It's awesome because he, like, hit on, like, all, like, the charlatan Neanderthal takes. Like, not only did he say he only had three spots left, but he was like, also, like, let's get primal and also yeah. let's do rotational training. That was, like, an infomercial for everything that was wrong in the physical I mean, give it some credit. He's missing the awesome. functional patterns aspect. I mean, he was really close. He was yeah, but, really close with the yeah. rotation. You want to know why he didn't do like that? It's because so he, he has a wife. And to be functional yeah. patterns, you, you have to be an incel. So he, he got disqualified. Yeah. Like, oh, you're getting pussy? No, <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't be part of this. <laughs> yeah. True. I don't, I'm so good. David Weck, we have to do more videos on him. But the whole rotational yeah. tra training thing is so crazy. And I feel like... Yeah, and he has a little maracas so as well. That guy made the Bosu ball, right? Yeah. And like making the Bosu ball basically propelled him. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the bolus that he does. Yeah. He has the bolus. Yeah, I didn't know that's what they were called, but that... Have you seen them? Well, yeah, so I think it's, it's a, like the, thing a, a that tools Batman the ab uses. aboriginals were using in Australia. I'm, I apologize because that's not the correct term anymore, but I don't know what it is. Yes, to trap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, literally that same tool. And then he he had this video recently that he put out on Instagram where he said that he was using a cane to spin first. Like he was literally spinning yeah. a cane. Like he was doing like a show tunes, like, I don't know, like he was in a play or something, like spinning a Mary Poppins cane. And then he was spinning the cane and realized that he could create a better yeah. instrument. So he made the bolus. And then he was like, well, then I can just make a jump rope out of this. And then from that, essentially like the rotational training. Yeah. Before. And so this guy is just perfecting the weapon. Yeah, he basically like weaponized. Um, what are these little things called? The the majorettes? You know what I'm talking about? Like a majorette is the girl that like spins the sticks and throws in the air. No, what's that? You don't want to. Is, is that isn't that what it's called? And they have the little sticks that you do this. He's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's like that. Um, yeah. uh, I have the, no idea. I know exactly. Tim Robinson's what you're kit, about, where he's like. How do I? I gotta make money off of this. I can't, there's gotta be a way to make money off of this. <laughs> yeah. It's me. It's Red. And it's called a Devil Stick. Figure out how to make money off this thing. It's simply too good. Figure out how to make money off this. I really want to. He's probably gonna do like the skipping. You know when we were a kid, the uh, <laughs> what's it called? Like not the four square, but like two legs, one leg. Hopscotch. Yeah. Honestly, it, it would probably work. We could say like, "Oh, this is optimal." Yeah, actually, awesome. we should do the hops. We knew as kids, but we forgot. Yeah, we have to relearn what we learned as kids. It's it's like so easy to be a child. Yeah, appropriate set of training. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> and we just trick people to like go outside and play. The hopscotch monkey bars slide method. <laughs> yeah, practice your precisions with beads. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the playground right, method. Let's do awesome. one of mine. Okay, this one is, has nothing to do with fitness, but it, it was just too good. <laughs> Can you read what's on the screen? Can you read what's on the screen? What? <laughs> Knowing my husband is always packing and ready to defend our past from any threats. And then she does the West Side. Dude. 
Dude, it's that's just so terrifying. it's like it honestly you know that meme like oh the european mind cannot comprehend this this actually we cannot like i we can't comprehend this and i'm i only have like european heritage it's like in, insane to me and it's <laughs> funny because like like who's gonna attack you there's like three people yeah. in the church there's like the old guy that's asleep, you and your yeah, husband. Yeah, it's like the culmination of the WEC method with that last post, but it's like in where like conservatives and Christians meet, it's like the same like overlap as the WEC method. She hit on a lot of topics at once. I'm also so sure she's in like an affluent neighborhood too, probably. They, they probably saw like a black person and they were like, I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up. <laughs> okay, let's do one of yours. Okay, oh dude, that looks awful, hang on. Oh, I saw this, it's that, it is actually crazy. What the fuck is that? No, don't tell me that's their poop or they're running coffee through their ass. And they're cheering each other. It looks like a bag of poop. Like they're fucking, oh, this is so great. You're going to be teaching kids who are going to start pouring coffee in their ass or thinking they'll do body justice. Terrible idea. Something's wrong with this. We made this of Instagram where we're so into a holistic wellness that we... Dude, that's awesome. We cheers with coffee enemas instead of cocktail glasses. Dude. Have you ever had an enema before? No, why would I? Terrible experience, terrible. I had one in my life and it was side story. I had to go to the ER because I didn't have a bowel movement. Cause you couldn't come? In like four days and I was come. like, oh, something. <laughs> so they, they're like, oh, we got the thing for you. No, okay. Yeah, and then the doctor fully relieved me. Yeah, he's a great guy. Um, but no, I went to the ER because I didn't have bowel movement and then they had to give me an enema and it was the it was excruciatingly yeah. painful and these karens are just doing it for fun with coffee like i had to do yeah. it with like soapy water but they're doing it with coffee so i can't imagine how much that burns yeah so props why to is like the wellness sphere so obsessed with like the warriors their poop and piss yeah and shoving drinking their piss the butts, putting yeah, it on their skin pretty crazy <laughs> because they think there's some sort of mysticism with like I don't know. There's a way to repurpose yeah. your own. Like Ford with our field day on Instagram, he'd be like, "Oh, this is like clearly some form of regression." <laughs> and I also, I feel, I don't know if this is true. No, I guess it's not necessarily a thing that like plagues first world countries because there is like some voodoo aspects yeah. of like like urine therapy is very. Like it's I think it is from I don't know if it's voodoo, but it's from African mysticism or something. Yeah, apparently it's bad. They do it with mm. cow urine there, though. They don't use their own a lot of the times. Yeah, it's bad. You can get, like, infection. Yikes. Because if the cow's infected, you're just no putting way. it on your kid in a place that doesn't yeah, have access for sure. to, like, modern medicine <laughs> in a lot of cases. So, not great. Yeah. yeah. And it's, like, one aspect where they always That's talk about awesome. those tribes that, like, survive and live so long. It's like, well, yeah, the, the weak just die. It's like, imagine if we had no medicine, like all the kids that were like, you know, that kid's a bit chubby or whatever. He just gets eaten or like, you can't catch a monkey. So, you know, mon no monkey right for you. I don't know. Right. Yeah, but people think like that. And often Dude, it's, it's funny because it's like, there's no way you'd survive in the jungle. It's so true. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> I couldn't stop laughing when I saw that. It's from this guy named Samuel Carr. <laughs> oh my god, I know this kid. He's so weird. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. The music? <laughs> okay. So your feet are designed to be strong. One of the fastest healing body parts. <laughs> Wait, play it again? Dude, this is so insane. fucking good. <laughs> like, I don't even care. That kid is like, he's part of like, the. have you read the manga Baki? Do you know what that is? Yeah, is he, is he like a mewing guy? The, yes, the guys that break yes. their jaw? He got this popular thing? because people started calling him like real life Baki. And in that manga, people do like crazy things with their body. So this guy basically, whether he's memeing or not, like believes that he can cause like crazy adaptations to his body if he just basically like breaks his toes and kicks walls and like snaps his fingers in half he thinks he'll become steel which like kind of based yeah. but also like really dumb i mean yeah there is some evidence that you can form a bone well i mean you can form a bone callus if you fracture it Do, sure. can you do it in a predictable way probably 
I don't know, to be honest. Probably I don't not. Know. I think if anything, you're more likely to have jaw pain than to actually get like a <laughs> fine jaw. Have you seen the guys in China who have the mallet hands? Who like break bricks with the back of their hands and they just have like giant bony calluses. But really? like it's totally like, yeah, it's like not functional. So it's like they have a callus in the back of their hand, but also they can't like articulate their fingers and they lose all dexterity in their hand, which is like the prime function of the hand. But they have like a club. You see this? Damn, that's crazy. What? Yeah, so like this is like the smaller scale version of what uh, I was talking about with that like Chinese uh, sensei guy who's strengthening the back of his hand. This is just like someone who will like punch a What's the white on it? Is it like again. skin blisters? Or is it actual bone? Uh, I, I it, No, I don't think it's white. I don't think it's bone that's like peeking through the skin layer. I think it's just maybe white because he was pounding the pavement okay. with his knuckles or these are like calluses. Kind of like how calluses get this color okay. white slash uh, yellow. Yeah, like this guy right here. Iron Paul. <laughs> Legendary Iron Paul apparently is this guy's name. See how the back, yeah. of, see the back of his hand is just crazy. That's man. crazy. I mean, good for him. Yeah. If he likes it. Who cares? By the way, did you see the video of like Kim Jong-un and Putin like fraternizing today? Yeah. It, yeah. I don't know what to think of it. It's so fucking weird. It is very odd. It's eerie. It's like two autistic people that are like barely verbal being like, hey, <laughs> let's pretend to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do this next one is so weird. It's like the, it's like the meme of Zach yeah, Galifianakis yeah, in the Hangover he's the where casino. he's doing the math. I think that's Hangover. This is that, but like chiropractors. It's so weird. Okay. It's so weird, dude. Trump. It's like surreal how weird it is. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, it's crazy. Keep keep going though. Describe what's going on. You see this? So this guy is like marking. Yeah. He's marking a like a normal lateral cervical X-ray, and then using the lateral cervical X-ray overlay of like the silhouette of the cervical spine, and then marking that and comparing it to a flexion extension X-ray to basically see what segments of the spine like supposedly don't move. And at the very end, the math here, I do not even understand what's going on. Like I can't even follow along. This is how far this guy's, how far gone he is. I don't even know what any of that means. He like put a hundred there and like forward and back arrows. And like, I'm so far removed from this that I, I, I can't follow. Yeah, um, but it's crazy that it it's crazy that it's a charlatan. I know this guy. I made a post about him. It's crazy that it's a charlatan, even though he, he's had pictures taken with Grant Cardone. He's probably the first quack. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of his pin posts. He also bought a bunch of bunch of followers, and he's the one who took a picture of a, a homeless person sleeping on a, a wood pallet. And he's like, "See this? This is terrible. Like, look at the way she's sleeping. That's so bad for her neck." This is prob. This is probably the worst sleeping ergonomics that you can do. You never want to sleep on your stomach. It's terrible for your lower back and your neck cranked off to one side. It's like, bro, she's fucking homeless. Like, shut the oh fuck up. Oh my like, god. And yeah, he doubled down. Like, he's, he's an awful person. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I I don't even know. Like we did that. Did we do that? Did we even do that for chiropractic school? I don't think we did that level of like analysis that that guy's yeah. talking about. But we did have like a X-ray class where we had like X-rays like on plain film and would like put them up on a light box and be like, "This is what your spine looks like on drugs." Yeah, but you you didn't take the Frank Cardone course though. So you yeah, you know, of course you don't know this. You're just a fucking baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I should have paid ten thousand dollars in entry fees to get that Grand Cardone case. Yeah, you took the subluxation course. You took the ten X subluxation course. You ten X the subluxation. True. <laughs> you probably would have found zero point seven. You found seven because he ten X. True. It's easy, Matt. Yeah, I mean, agreed. you should really take the course. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see this that Grand Cardone idea, is yeah. pushing his kids now? His kids are like grinding. No. Like, oh, I was grinding when I was born. It's like, bro, your dad is worth like a hundred million dollars.